I tell you, top and bottom hose out. Okay. Everything drained out of it. Down to DGR cooler, I took it off. We gotta blow the heaters out, the front and the back. In order to completely uh, clean out the EGR cooler, you had to remove it. Yeah, I had to take the whole thing off. Dump it out. Previously drained, we'll see if we can blow something else out. <laughs> A lot of the time you can. water or less. Okay, hold it up. Here's what I want to do here. I want to stick that in the hose. I'm going to pour some prep fluid in there and then you're going to blow that through. All right, you blow that through. That's good. Gonna do something after this Why one? not? <laughs> now leaving some of the prep fluid in there is not a problem. That's right. right. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. It could be that right back this there. This might be it right here. Back back there. Okay, that's a two-wire device. That's the manifold, yeah. Okay, right so there. that's coolant coming right out of the engine. A reasonable location. Uh, Not really, but it's pain to have to get to. We're going to have to change that too? I'm going to modify the circuitry on it. Uh, and it doesn't matter which one I clip. Here we go. Now there's point of no return. I'm going to put some flux on the wires themselves. Now I'm going to mechanically squeeze the first one here. Shrink wrap? Yeah, we want the shrink wrap out of the area where we're going to do the soldering. You always solder it. You have to do all of them. Okay. This is a prototype uh, thermostat made for a Detroit Diesel Series 60 engine and it actuates at 215 Fahrenheit. And, the, and two of these will replace two other thermostats that are stock that probably open at 190 each. With the thermostats out, we have uh, a nice uh, big place where we can put prep fluid into the engine, into the block. Looking really good, John.